it's Jamie with Missing in Action Tarot. I hope everybody's doing well out there. I hope life is good. So let's see what the energies are for the collective. If you guys are interested in products and services, you can check out the description box. My website is jamiezebra23.com. Yep, yep. All right. So something's in limbo. Something's at a standstill. Could be some money that's in limbo, money that's at a standstill. I also feel like for some of you, if there was a standstill, you're coming out of the standstill. You guys are going to be celebrating here, but also keep things, keep some of your celebrations private, your victories, keep them private until, until they're, they're already developed and everything is going well. Cause we do have the nine of pentacles here. So things are going to go well. So some of you, yeah, you're coming out of a, of a standstill period, a period of things, maybe not going the way that you hoped, but you're coming out of that now. So let's see what else. Also, there could be a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo that wants to reach out to you. They may want to offer you money or gifts. Or let's say you're, let's say, for example, you guys don't have a car. They're going to be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that's going to come on and be like, hey, listen, I know you don't have a car. You know, I could co-sign for you or I could give you like a down payment or I could give you one of my cars. So it looks like somebody's trying to give you a gift to try to get in your good graces. Could also be Sagittarius, your Aries energy, man or a woman. Somebody also finds you very, very attractive. Okay. Yeah, somebody wants to keep you. Somebody's trying to keep you guys. Somebody's head over heels in love with you and they're willing to do whatever it takes to keep you. For some of you, somebody believes that money, gifts, or service will keep you. I mean, that's a good way to keep somebody, right? <laughs> um, I think it's a Blink-180 song. It's um, It doesn't mean it's true for all women, but um, I think this song is like, Girls don't like boys. Girls like cars and money. So for some of you, there's a, it could also go for men as well. Maybe men don't like girls. Maybe men like cars and money. So it could be vice versa. If it's a same sex relationship, it could be the same thing. But I just feel like for whatever this storyline is, somebody's realizing what um, somebody's heart is attached to. Um, some people's hearts are attached to poems. Some people's hearts are attached to, you know, sweet little gestures. And some people, it's strictly financial security. So let's see what else. I'm going to grab another deck and then we'll go back into the tarot cards as well. So what else? Yeah, it's the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So we got bad health here. Coffin. Yikes. So um, I got to give you guys real messages. I mean, this is... Somebody may have bad health and they may be passing away and there could be some inheritance coming in because this card is a card of inheritance and so is that one. And then the Four of Swords is also a card of bad health or hospitalization. The Lovers. Oh. Well, okay. So there's a turnaround. Change. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so here's what's going on. Then we have a gift. Some of you may have either could be you. I don't think it's you guys, but it could be somebody that you know, maybe is like not feeling well and maybe doctors or saying, or family members or people are saying, Hey, this person may not make it. They're, they're going through some things right now. And people are like planning for someone's maybe funeral, but the lover's card, like the literal meaning of the lover's card, other than the love and romance part is a return to good health. So it looks like, there's a return to good health and a change. Somebody could, maybe somebody's trying to cash in a life insurance policy or someone is hoping someone will kick the bucket so they can get some money. But it's not happening. Okay, now I also feel like, um, it's always something weird, but I gotta tell you guys what this, what the cards are saying. Somebody could be putting things in someone's food or drink. So if somebody's like having frequent visits to the doctor and their stomach hurts and they just don't know why they don't feel good. You know, this reading is for entertainment purposes only. So just if you do not feel well, please seek out a physician. I am not a medical doctor. No, I am not. Um... Somebody could be doing something, trying to orchestrate something so they can cash in on a policy or, you know, maybe they want a house all to themselves. Maybe they don't want to go through a messy divorce and this seems uh, a little easier. 
So just be careful with who is ever planning and plotting this, whatever this stage is being set. Just be, be aware of this. Be careful of this because somebody here is on a mission. I feel like this might go to court with the, with the concern and then the adjudication. This may go to court. Somebody may find out that they're being, you know, poisoned. I think this, this crap is going to go to court. Well, let's see what else. What else? What else for the collective? The hermit. Yeah, the ten of swords. Somebody's trying to get someone's life insurance. Get Okay, so be careful. So I just want to tell you guys a little small story time. I'm trying to keep it small, so I'm trying to figure out which parts to put in and which parts to leave out so it doesn't drag on. I met somebody. This guy was a psychopath. This guy was talking about how he's got life insurance policies on his mom and other family members um, and that it sucks that they're going to go, but he could really use the money. Um, if you guys watch my other channels, you know exactly who I'm talking about. And um, he was trying to tell me he wanted to have a baby with me so he could collect child support and or life insurance. And I, of course, you know, blocked his number. I called the police, got a restraining order. Yeah, the guy continued to stop. But anyway, okay, but anyway, back to this. So for some of you, there could be somebody who wants to get you pregnant just so that they can get a life insurance policy and make sure that somebody doesn't grow. Somebody doesn't, you know, breathe. So I'm sorry to be sinister, but I have to tell you guys what I'm getting here. This is some somebody who is so desperate for money that they're like, planning and plotting all sorts of crazy stuff. So if you know who this is, this could be your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, you know, your significant other, a new, a new person that's going to be entering your life. Just be aware of this because whoever this is, is like so money hungry and obviously does not have morals. Just be aware of this. Um, I don't know how I'm going to put this in the title because YouTube is cracking down on certain words. So I'm going to try to best describe this video. All right. Missing in action. Tarot, Jamie Zebra 23 to tough for now. Uh, love you long time.